Joe here with Doji Trading, and today we're going to go ahead and jump right into something a little new um, for anybody who's trying to set up their their Discord and they are looking to assign roles. We're going to go ahead and do that with the ProBot um, extension for Discord. So um, as you can see here, I have a nice fresh Discord that's ready to go. And right over here, we have the uh, ProBot.io slash English. And I know I didn't, I didn't find any videos about it. That's why I wanted to go ahead and post it. So the reaction roles, that's a big thing. Not a lot of people know how to do it. So I figured I'd just go ahead. I didn't see anything. And that's what we're going to cover here today. So um, let's go ahead and add it to Discord and see what happens. It's going to ask me if I want to log in. Yeah. Um, so that doesn't look like that pops up for you guys. That's fine. It's not a big deal. Uh, add a server. Yes. And then after that, I'm going to go ahead and select the server that I want. This one is going into Battleborn. Click OK. Authorize all that good stuff. Click OK. I am a human. And click OK. And it looks like we got ProBot added. All right. And these are my other servers. But this is ProBot right here. And let's go ahead and pop back over to the Discord real fast. And as we can see right here, ProBot did in fact add. Okay, so the first thing that we're going to want to do is we're going to, we're going to kind of go over this together. I, I did it recently on my other channel, but um, I just want to uh, entertain it real fast on this one. So first thing you want to do is come over to server settings, and we need to create some roles, right? Because we essentially just want to know, um, you know, what, we need to know what roles people are going to get if they react to them. So let's go ahead and start adding them. Create one. Uh, this is a Clash Royale clan. So we're going to do, um, let's say, we'll just say leader. We'll do that. Now I'm not going to go, I'm not going to go ahead and modify anything specific. I'm just going to add the roles. Uh, we're going to go co-leader. Mm -hmm. Okay. And then we're going to go ahead and add uh, members. And new apps. Well, was, well, I don't want to call them newbies, but uh, in training. These guys are basically the ones that are not yet to be uh, members yet if they haven't served time. So they don't get all the special abilities. All right, so here we go. So now we have our roles in there. You want to add colors? Great, go ahead and do so. Uh, I'll do it just for the... All right, so that's all done, right? Good deal. Go ahead and save these changes. So we got all that taken care of, and now we have roles. Okay, nothing else over here we need to see. So let's go ahead and swap right back over to the ProBot side. Jump right on down here to reaction roles where it says it's new. Go ahead and click on that. Um, okay, and then it says create an embed from here. Let's go ahead and do that. Click on that which basically takes you right back over here to embedded messages. Click on compose. And what we're doing is we're essentially creating a brand new, um, basically a text. It's, it's a, it's a, it's a text box kind of like thing they got going on. So name it, whatever you want to name it. I'll go ahead and name this the reaction roles. Okay. And then, well, I'm gonna go ahead and name it two since I have another one. I don't know if that's gonna be conflicting, but we'll just go ahead and change that. And then we're gonna go ahead and do title. Choose your goal. And then we're going to go ahead and add a description on the leveling. This is a test. How about that? I can always come, you can always come back in and fix that later. You want to add an image, you want to do anything else, go ahead and do it here. This is where you can add all that fancy stuff. Um, you know what? Let's just give it a shot and see what that looks like, actually, because I've never tried it. See if it looks any better. So I'm putting the axe in there. Um, is it, that's it's a pretty big, a pretty big image. I don't know if I can edit that. You might be able to. You might not. But whatever. We'll leave it as is. All right. So we'll go ahead and put that there. And then, uh, you want to add anything else? You can go ahead and do all that fancy that fancy stuff here. You can go over that on your own time. You know, I guess that's just the outline of it, whatever. We'll go ahead and make that green. I like green. Dark green. How about that? All right, cool. Um, 
yeah so not adding anything additional there and then what i'm going to go ahead and do is click on save changes and go ahead and click on wait for this success bar to go ahead and pop then we'll go ahead and send new message because what it does is it goes it go ahead and sends it into a channel right now i have this set in general if you're looking to do reaction rules because you're going into a um if you're looking for it to allow people into your server then you would you know obviously want the choose channel to be something like you know your welcome channel or whatever or your you know stop read read the disclosure here channel so on and so forth so you're gonna go ahead and send the message i went ahead and click send and now we're gonna go ahead and jump right back over into the discord now in the discord we have the probot that says choose your role this is a test great so we got that there's no reactions so you're like wow okay that was useless perfect so the, what we're going to do is come right back over to the reaction roles and click on that and now that we have saved everything obviously i mean there's nothing new here that you haven't seen i'm gonna go ahead and click on add message and then from the embeds we're going to select the one that we just created and then choose the message now this is basically referencing the picture that we just sent to our discord because it wants to know where they're going to implement those reaction roles at so I'm going to go ahead and put those, put that general, because that's essentially the one that we just sent in and then the reactions. So let's say, okay, there's an ax. We'll put that for, I selected the emoji and then I'm going to select the role. Um, I guess it's not in here. The role's not in here probably because it didn't upgrade, uh, update. So what I'm going to do is just go ahead and refresh it. Come back right up to the browser, click on it, hit the refresh button. Just reload it so we can get those rolls loaded back up. All right, let's, let's go ahead and try that again. It's like the embed, reaction rules two, add reaction. It looks like the ax is still there. And now we should have it leader, co leader, members, and training, so on and so forth. So we'll go ahead with this one. We'll just go ahead and put co leader. And then we're going to go ahead and add another. Uh, we'll go ahead and add another reaction. And then we're going to go ahead and put. Mm, 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 mm. I don't know if you put anything for leader, if it's got anything. All right, there we go. We got a little king crown, right? All right, we'll put a crown. Put that one on for leader. We'll add a... Um, mm, 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 mm. I mean, this is, this is where you can do whatever you want to do. As obviously, I don't have anything. Hmm. Mm hmm. Because I should have gone over this before I made the video, right? Ah. All right. So that'll be the new guy in training. And then we'll add one more for the members. And the members will be. Hmm. What to make the members? Mm, 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 mm. Sorry, I know this video is going to be long because I'm not going to actually edit this. This is just a quick post. It's just something that we can have. So, I am going to make the miss, the martial arts. Perfect. And then we're going to go ahead and put those for members. And we're done. So, let's go ahead and save changes. And then what we're going to do is just go ahead and pop right back over to the Discord. And nothing happened. Perfect. So we're going to go ahead and pop right back over to the, um, this thing over here, over to the probot. And then we are going to, that should be it. That really, that really should be it. Doesn't say save changes or anything. So, uh, let me see if I, Click on this, click on that, save changes. Doesn't look like anything's updating in my Discord for some reason. So, I will pop it back over here, see if it's reloaded anything. Okay, oh, all that stuff is still here, which is fine. I'm gonna come back over to the embedded messages. I'm gonna come back over to the reaction role. Now I'm going to send a new message. I'm going to see if that changes anything. Uh, 
choose your role. This is a test. Nothing. Still has the pictures there. Last time the emojis actually popped up in my other server. So let's let's try and figure this out together. Hmm. That's weird. Okay, so that didn't do anything now. I wonder if that's because I have a picture in there. Because last time I didn't have a picture, so the yeah, I mean, all this is right. Oh, select message. Maybe that was the problem. Bam. So I select the picture, and before I click save changes, I'm actually just going to go ahead and transfer right back over to Discord real fast. And now I'm hitting the save changes at this exact time, and let's see if that does anything. There we go. So the second I, the second I did the, the save changes, it went ahead and popped everything up right down here uh, accordingly. So I guess let's just go ahead and click one. All right, so there it goes. It changed me over to blue for members. Now it looks like it doesn't, doesn't. So I guess it allows you to do multitudes of them. And it looks like you can move your way all the way up the chain. So, I mean, I guess you could, you could use this to your preference, but at least you know how it operates. Now, if you want, you know, separate things to, you know, pop down as people select their roles, go ahead and come back over here to the roles and click on each individual one and then display roles separate from other members. And you can tag the rest of those and click save. And then when you bounce back over here, now, there we go, in training, leader co-leader and then i'm assuming that if we have all of them on then whichever one takes the the dominant one will will showcase and in fact doesn't this is really good if you have other channels that are again linked to it and you need those to kind of pop off um so right now if that was actually what you were trying to do then i'll we'll go ahead and add that one extra thing in here just in case what we'll do is like a leader test Uh, by making the channel private, only select members and rules will be able to view this channel. All right, cool. We'll go ahead and click next. And we only want the leaders to check it. And I guess we want the bot, right? I don't know. <laughs> uh, good talk. Okay. So basically, as long as the leader's on there, we should be good. But at the same time, we are the actual admin. So I don't know if that actually takes away anything. If I take away the leader... Does it take away my ability to see it? It doesn't because I'm the owner of the server, so I can't unview that. I can't, you know, take away my own vision from this. So I would imagine that's what's working. You know, you'd have to have a buddy come in and test it, but that's essentially how you would do it. So the second they click on this and they become a leader, then this, in fact, should show up to them. All right, guys, so that pretty much wraps it up. Thank you very much for joining us this evening here at Doji Trading. I hope this video helps you, and if you have any questions, please let me know down in the comments below.